As we've all been taught from a young age, sharing is caring. But how do you make sure that when you share passwords, that you do so safely and securely? I would say that Bitwarden is a better alternative to post-it notes for that, and here's why. In software development, we often talk about developing workflows that have an optimal happy path and a less than optimal unhappy path, but that both of these paths should get the job done. In Bitwarden, there is a happy path and an unhappy path for having to share passwords. The happy path occurs when the person that you want to share a password with not only has an account on the same Bitwarden instance as you, but is part of the organization that needs to have access to that password. The unhappy path is when they are either not part of an organization with you or not in your instance at all. Fortunately for us, Bitwarden has ways to solve each of these sharing scenarios in a safe and secure manner. Let's take a look at how these are handled for us. The easiest way to share passwords is with organizations. Uh, we can create an organization from any user account and add passwords into the organization as we would add passwords to our own regular personal accounts. Note that we do have to select a collection when creating new accounts, and there will be one default collection already available for every new organization. I can now invite a user to join the organization. When adding a user, you can choose the user type and access control of what that user will be able to do inside of the organization. Once a user accepts their invitation, the owner of the organization will go in and confirm those users to be added to the organization. Now we can see that my two users are now part of the organization and can share passwords. Here we can see where user2 has entered a new password uh, and made it available to the organization. This shows up automatically in the organization's vault. And going back to my user vault, both of these passwords that are owned by the organization are represented under my no folder folder. I can now create a new folder called new organization and select in order to move both of those passwords into the new org folder. Note that when creating an item from my user vault, I can also share it with the organization. The ownership field can be changed to the organization name and a collection chosen to save it in. Now we can say that that new organization password by user was saved in the organization vault as well. This would then also be available to all organization members. However, if the user is not able to be added to an organization or the user is not on the instance whatsoever, we do still have a way to safely and securely share a password with them. This is by using Bitwarden send. From here, we can create a new send in order to send it to an external user. And if we were to send some text like a demo password, we can create that send on the Bitwarden instance and copy the send link. This gives us a URL that anyone can access in order to retrieve that password. This also works with files as well as text, and there are several other options to be aware of. Note that you can set a deletion date, an expiration date, a maximum access count, and a password to password protect the URL that you are sharing with someone else. Lastly, the send does have a delete function in order to delete that send for good. No matter the scenario, if you need a way to share a password safely, Bitwarden has got you covered. If you found that Bitwarden has helped you share passwords securely, or if you have any questions about it, visit us at arcompose.com. And if you're ready to get started with Bitwarden, you can also sign up for a free trial of your own Arcompose instance today at arcompose.com.